All right, in this video, we're going to look at an example of finding the interval of convergence. So here we're going to find the interval of convergence for e to the x squared, um, the series representation for e to the x squared, which is n equals 0 to infinity, x to the 2n over n factorial. What we're going to do to uh, find this interval of convergence is we're just going to use the ratio test. So the ratio test, again, says we look at the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. So in this case, we've got the limit as n goes to infinity. So everywhere there's an n, I'm going to replace it with uh, n plus 1. So we'll have x uh, raised to the second times uh, n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. And again, normally, you, well, you know, we divide by the original, but again, we can just multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll multiply by n factorial over x to the 2n. So let's see, I'm going to just clean this up a little bit. This would be x to the 2n plus 2. Um, I'm going to put the x to the 2n underneath that. Then we've got n factorial over n plus 1 factorial. Well, if we simplify, we have the limit as n goes to infinity. x to the 2n plus 2 over x to the 2n, we're just subtracting exponents. That'll leave us with x squared. Uh, recall, you can just expand out n factorial over n plus 1 factorial. That's going to leave us with 1 over n plus 1. And in this case, uh, you can treat the x like a constant, so we can pull it out. Um, Technically, you need to keep things in absolute value. Here, you're squaring it, so it really doesn't matter. But just as a force of habit, um, I would say when you bring constants out, keep them in absolute value. So we've got the absolute value of x squared times the uh, limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n plus 1. Well, this is going to leave us with x squared times... Uh, well, let's see, the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n plus 1, that's going to be 1 over a large number, which is 0. Well, and recall what we want. So we want, um, you know, we want our ratio to be less than 1. Remember, for the uh, ratio test for the series to converge, the, uh, the ratio has to be less than 1. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, what values could we plug in for x and multiply it by 0, and get something less than 1, well, any number that you plug in and multiply it by 0, you'll get something less than 1. So what that tells us is, it says the interval of convergence, it says the interval of convergence is just going to be all real numbers. So everything from negative infinity up to positive infinity.